And I wrote this right after the uh, 2016 election. I spend my days with immigrants from countries A to Z. They all believe in America, the home of democracy. I teach them to speak English, and they teach me in return about the world we live in. There's so much more to learn. We talked about the election. They told me their deepest fears. Samira asked me, if that man wins, will I still be here? next year. On the 9th of November, I tried to be strong. I tried, I really tried. But when I saw Mohammed's face, I broke right down and cried. Mohammed, Elena, Abdullah, and Juan, I vow to protect you however I can. Samira, Lorena, Tenzin, and Kamsao, I want to keep you safe, but I don't know how. Elena's not a criminal, Kamsao is not a thief. Abdullah's not a terrorist, Tenzin is full of grief. Mohammed is from Syria, he fled the civil war. Elena and her children came here from El Salvador. One is only 17, he came here all alone. He walked across the desert after fleeing from his home. Abdullah daughter, but he'll see her no more. She was in a boat that capsized just five miles off the shore. Mohammed, Elena, Abdullah, and Juan, I vow to protect you however I can. Samira, Morena, Tenzin, and Kamsao, I want to keep you safe. But I don't know how, but I must learn how. Juan asked me, will he send me back? Will he really build that wall? Surely we're too many. He can't deport us all. I can't give him an answer. I do not know the plan. So I try to reassure them all, and I tell them once again. Mohammed, Elena, Abdullah, and Juan, I vow to protect you however I can. Samira, Lorena, Tenzin, and Kamsao, I want to keep you safe. But I don't know how, but I must learn how, for the time is 